It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm hmm. Talk that talk. We'll stay with I-Team 8 tonight and the disturbing murder of a kindergarten teacher. She had also become a mother recently when police say she had been killed by her husband. I-Team 8's Kat Sandoval is talking with her parents, sharing their heartbreak and what their message is tonight. Just a few steps from where I'm standing is where they found 26-year-old Amber Morgan's body. She was brutally murdered, and we got a chance to speak to her parents. This was a woman that they don't make them like that. Corey Morgan described his daughter as a bright star who loved being a mother. That Friday night, she went to Costco with her mother. And she took everything up two flights of stairs, having a five-week-old baby. That was the last time the parents saw her. Corey requested we call his daughter by her maiden name, Morgan. Her husband, Robert Cooley, confessed to the murder, telling officers, I did something bad, I need to go to jail, and then later, I took my wife's life. Police found Amber Saturday morning in her home. Police say her face was beaten so severely she was unrecognizable. She was shot in the head and her throat slit. Officers saw blood on Cooley's hands and clothing. Amber's parents say there were red flags with Cooley, but didn't think it would go this far. He was verbally abusing her and um, what I would call spiraling, starting to spiral out of control since um, a little shortly before the birth of the baby. He threatened me. He tried to uh, engage in a physical altercation with me. Amber's mom tells us Amber asked for a petition for disillusion of marriage papers the night before she was killed. We think that he tried to confront her and she told him something he didn't want to hear. Amber was a kindergarten teacher at Victory Prep. She taught there for a year. She just cared for others deeply. She just had a history of connecting with, with anyone. Her husband faces a preliminary murder charge and is in Marion County Jail without bond. The parents tell me they will be adopting Amber's five-week-old baby named Audrey. I'm IT Mates Kat Sandoval, Wish TV, WishTV.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, June 5th, the year is 2024. Another tragic case of a wife shot and killed by her husband after they just gave birth to a baby. Um, I, I, I saw this story a few days ago and I said I was gonna do a video about it because I was kind of, um, this happens so frequently now in our community. Um, black men deciding to harm or hurt or kill their wives and girlfriends for whatever reasons. Um, they said he, he, she was unrecognizable. And you just wonder what could have happened in that relationship for him to choose this type of violence against her, a kindergarten teacher. Um, you just have to wonder what could have taken place. Uh, possibly nothing. Just another angry person mad at the whole wide world. Um, there's even a point in the news report where he said the father almost got into, a, almost or did get into a physical confrontation with him. You just have to wonder what were they thinking. I don't know why, what causes these relationships to go so bad that these men make the decision to uh, kill their partner. It's just weird to me. And um, this is a tragic story. You have to wonder what what is going on in their, in their head that they feel like they have to kill this person. That the person shouldn't be alive, but they, 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 they're so angry. I was trying to see, um, and, and I think they said something about they had previous uh, violence before. 
Um, this happens so frequently now in our community that you, it happens every day. Some black man may jump, is, is killing his wife, girlfriend, or fiance. And we know why, because these guys are just crazy as hell. Yeah, we know why. Let me see. What is this? Let's see. What was this? I was trying to find that news article to it. Hold on. I just saw it. There's something over here. Yeah. So the husband was arrested. Um, she was 26 years of age, Amber Morgan. And this happened at 7. He brutally, brutally murdered her at 7.15 a.m. Saturday in her, in her home. This happened in uh, Indianapolis. Yeah, that was in Indianapolis. Indiana. Well, I don't know. It, I think it's very horrible. The police report says her face was beaten so severe, severely. She was unrecognizable. She was shot in the head and her throat was slit. Officers saw blood on Cooley's hands and clothing. On Cooley's hands and clothing. Her husband, Robert Cooley, confessed to his wife's murder. According to court documents, he told officers, I did something bad, I need to go to jail. I took my wife's life. Uh, Amber's parents said Amber and Cooley had been together about four or five years. There, there were red flags for Cooley, but they didn't think it would ever go this far. He was verbally abusing her and started to spiral out of control a little shortly after the birth of her baby. Amber's father said he threatened me. He tried to gauge in a physical confrontation. Now I'm looking at something. Uh, let's see something. This is a picture. They must have the wrong picture. Because they have a picture of a baby here. And it's a white baby. And on this link, I'm like, okay, this can't be correct. That, that must be the wrong picture of the baby. Well... We know domestic violence is a serious issue in our communities. We know domestic violence is something that's very serious that we tend to. I, I would love to see some, some of our well-known um, community leaders speak out against domestic violence in the black community. Because uh, they, they seem to be very silent about it for some reason. I mean, they're not saying anything. At least I haven't heard anything. Maybe I could be wrong. But it seems kind of odd that there's, you never hear anything or no comment about all the crazy domestic violence that goes on in our community. I like to see more anger management classes or more discussions with these men about it when they get so angry. I mean, I mean, he, he viciously murdered this woman. What could have happened that he was so mad about? I mean, what could have happened? What could have happened? With the baby, at least he didn't harm the baby. And they're showing a picture of this baby, and I wonder, is this the child? This must be a different video. No, okay. I was about to say that was a different video. I'm like, okay. They keep showing that baby, is this a different video? It was a white baby. I'm like, wait, wait, did she have a white baby? I'm pretty sure he's the father of that child. 
And then he didn't kill the, his mother, kill the mother. Yep, but y'all, it happens every day so frequently now, it's just ridiculous. I believe it's every, every five hours a black man kills his wife, fiance, or girlfriend. And there were a few more stories that I saw, but this one kind of stood out to me because they were so young. Y'all be careful out there. I know everybody wants to get married, be in relationships, and this happens so frequently that, uh, and, and here's the crazy part. I, when I was researching this particular story, I, there were other stories that popped up. And a lot of these men are educated, have great jobs. I think one was a city councilman or something who killed his wife. Um, there were so many different stories. I was like, but I chose this one. There was a lot that I was, as I was Googling my husband kills wife, trying to get to the news article. I did get to the news article, but along the way, the journey to the news article, I saw all these other stories. And I thought, wow, I mean, and they were all black men, every last one of them. Yeah, we know white folks do it too. Yeah, we know. Anyway, I was wanting to, uh, I need to, somebody told me about a shooting that took place in Akron, Ohio. I haven't had a chance to look that up. I was busy over here dealing with a situation. But a painter who came into my house to do some painting work. Um, you know, y'all had these, this, this man came in here just to paint some kitchen cabinets. I just wanted them, not, not uh, bathroom cabinets, I wanted him to spray them. Just paint them. Two days of arguing it with him about the quality of the work that he did before he finally did get it right. He literally came in here and splashed the paint on there. I said, okay, this ain't going to work. First off, it's the wrong paint. It's not going to adhere to the cabinets. You need to take that off. He had to strip the paint off the cabinets. Uh, watch the way. And he had the nerve to call his daughter over to translate. So she comes over. I guess she brought him lunch and she was translating. And I was just like, look, I've had this man painting for me before he knows the type of work I want done. And if he does not do it right, I'm not paying for this work. And I don't care. He needs to do it right or leave. Take the cabinet doors off. Spray the cabinets like I told him to do in the first place. Spray them with paint. I wanted them sprayed, not rolled. He decided he going to roll them. He put latex paint over oil based cabinets. That ain't gonna work till the paint had to all be he had to remove it. He had to remove he had to literally had to remove all that paint off of there. And it wasn't a big cabinet section, but he had to remove it up. But anyway, long story short, after two days of me of dealing with this fool, he did it. He did get it right. Now they look nice, they're beautiful. Well he should have just did it in the first place. Why didn't you just do it in the first place? I mean, sometimes people get on your fucking nerves. But anyway, back to this tragic story. Um, it's going to be a short video. I'm about to run up out of here. I got some stuff I need to do today. Um, I just think it's a very tragic situation. But something that happens frequently in our community to the point that it's scary. You just don't know you can trust anymore. You that angry, you that mad, he slit her throat, he beat her to she was unrecognizable. What could have happened in that house? What? What could have happened? Probably nothing. I bet that nigga was over there high on drugs. It was hard to say. But anyway, I gotta get out of here. I'm out of here, you all. And I'll speak to you all later. There's a couple other videos I want to do today. But I wanted to get this one out. I was going to do this one yesterday. But I was unfortunately couldn't work because of that damn painter running around here fucking shit up. Anyway, today is Friday, Wednesday, January 5th, the year 2024. I'm out. And I'll speak to you all later.